All right, so um, people. I don't know. I, I I am terrible at words, which is why I don't do things very often. Anyway, uh, hello, people. Uh, this is Niet, and I figured I'd show you something that I've done recently, just to let you see progress on the development site. The um, it is still currently open to you guys to check out, but uh, in the near future I'll be taking it offline just to, you know, because there'll be some new things that, uh, yeah, that, there's, that should be a nice surprise, so I uh, don't want to spoil too much for you. Anyway, um, I want to show you guys in particular the uh, hatching of a Pokemon egg, because um, on the current version of things it can be a bit slow. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it, it blocks off the entire page where it does the animation. So um, I've got an egg here, uh, ready to hatch. And let's just go ahead and hatch it. And you can see for yourselves what it looks like. Um, right away you can see I can still use the rest of the page just fine. And there goes the animation, same as before really, haven't really changed much. And uh, there we go, we've got an Incarda. And I got myself a bug gym. Apparently I've got 11 of them now, which is cool. Anyway, so the egg's hatched, and there's my Ninkada, ready to receive food. And that works exactly like it should. So, there you go, hatching an egg. Nice and simple. Um, still got placeholder menu items here, but you can you know, rename it from here. Um, I, am, I am just as bad as names as I am at talking in general, so I'm just going to call it a bug. There we go, it's now called a bug. Um, and you guys have probably seen this before, uh, you've got the types, the happiness starts at 27%, uh, that's just where it is, gentle nature, likes bit of food, it's also apparently floating slightly in the air, that's because it's a very, a very flat Pokemon, so, uh, the positioning's a little bit off, but that's not too important, really. Um, oh, here's another thing that I added, um, I wasn't going to show this, but since it is in the menu, check evolution requirements. So right away, just from the Pokemon, you can do this on the summary page as well. Uh, you can just find out exactly how that Pokemon evolves. Um, and if obviously if there's multiple options, they'll all be listed here and it shows you the conditions. Um, so that way you can find out immediately without having to load the Pokedex just to find out one piece of information. It's just given to you right there. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to come back in just a moment when uh, this little Pokemon is ready to evolve and uh, I can show you that as well. So, okay, so we're back, and uh, Ninkada is, sorry, a bug is now level 21, which, uh, as we saw in the evolution condition thing earlier, is a high enough level to evolve into Ninjask. Um, so, as you can see, we've got the button here showing us what it evolves into, but if you can't tell from the icon, it spells out for you right there in the menu. And uh, that's a new addition as well, the menu lets you evolve it directly if, for uh, whatever reason, either the button does, doesn't show up, or you, know, you don't want to give it a berry. You know, whatever your reasons are. Maybe it's maybe it's a, a, an experience number that you like and you locked it, or uh, maybe the lock it would do that. I don't know why you wouldn't feed it a berry first, but apparently that was annoying on the current version, so I've changed it, so you can do it from the menu. Uh, hope you like it. Anyway, I'm going to evolve it from the button because I gave it a berry earlier. Um, so as before, you have the confirmation box. Um, and yeah, you could since it's got the button focus on the button directly, you can just hit the space bar or enter key or just sort of anything really. If you, you know, if again, you, if you're in a rush, you know, don't want to move the mouse there, just hit the space bar. But I'm going to click it with the mouse, and uh, here we go. We actually have an animation this time. The current version still says "cool animation to be added" or whatever, and this one actually has an animation. So there we go. There's our there's our nin um, ninjas. Yeah, that was it. I forgot I was going to call it Ninkada again, but no, it evolved into Ninjask, so that's done. And down here we've got, uh, if you're paying attention, that number's actually increased, which um, is cool, because uh, that means I don't have to reload the page just to get up-to-date information. Um, let's say I was at 2,995 and I had a full party, I evolved them all, then I'd be able to just directly come straight down here and complete the task without having to um, reload the page or anything like that. So, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, everything's just a lot more streamlined in this version, I think, um, and it has the animation that was, be that was promised. Uh, now, you'll notice it still says bug ground, even though it's definitely not a bug ground type anymore. That will be fixed as soon as I click the button, and bug flying, and we also have a Shedinja over here. 
because that's what happens when you involve an Incarda with Empty Space New Party. Uh, so the Shujinja has obviously the same amount of experience, it has the same nature, same, oh, the same preference, same happiness. I think the happiness is duplicated. I don't know, that might just be the default happiness. I think that's the default happiness actually. Uh, but the point is, it, it's the Shujinja. Um, if this were shiny, this would also be shiny. And um, Albino actually works properly, whereas on the current one I had to I had to fix that because I forgot. Go me. Anyway, so that's uh, egg hatching and Pokemon evolving. Everything working rather nicely. Um, uh, obviously, your comments are appreciated. So if you have any comments to make regarding this, uh, please do post them. They'll be interesting to look at. And um, yeah, uh, if if you also would like me to do more of this kind of video, um, I can certainly try, just, yeah, but uh, don't expect miracles because <laughs> uh, there's, uh, there's so much going on and I'm very easily distracted by things, like games. I've been playing a lot of games, I've been playing too many games lately. I need to program more, so why am I making this video?